So keep that in mind. And oh shit. Whoops. That went rather well. Well, no, let me rephrase that. That didn't go terribly. <laughs> I wouldn't say it went rather well. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days and I on Alpha 19.1. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to continue working on our new Tier 2 career. Uh, we've been knocking out those quests and just continuing on uh, leveling and working our way towards Tier 3 and so on and so forth. I've mentioned this to you guys before, you guys who have watched me for a while. I, I actually like Tier 3 the most. It's my favorite a questing tier just because it has the most interesting POIs, or I should say more, uh, the most, the widest variety of POIs. And tier two is not bad either, really. Uh, so we'll just keep working uh, on that and hopefully continue getting into better and better equipment as we go along. Uh, so just a couple of housekeeping things here. Uh, I need to um, make some more glue. So let's grab the bones that we have. And we got some dirty water here. And one of the biggest things that we are on the lookout for right now is uh, a beaker uh, so that we can make our Kim bench because we have everything else that we need or can easily uh, obtain everything else that we need. Uh, but we need the beaker. And so, you know, we're watching the, the traders, looking in the loot and that sort of thing. Uh, the other kind of hard to get item that you need for Kim Bench is, is acid, but you only need five and we, are, we already have 11. So we've accumulated 11 acids. So we're in good shape as far as that goes. Okay. Let's see here. So, um, I, it's been a few days since I've played, uh, because I've been playing a lot of Empyreon, uh, right now on uh, that series. So I got to get my head back into seven days tonight. I'm probably going to hit the F key a hundred times in this episode too, thinking I'm hitting the E key. Uh, so anyways, it looks like I, we, we're getting to the point where we're going to have to start thinking about making larger storage. Uh, in fact, I, I remember now I started clearing out, you know, the, you know, the little trim up above so that we could start fitting some, uh, of the larger cabinets up there. Let's repair that. And didn't I, I think I made some nails too. Uh, so we could actually start doing that. I did. We've got a hundred nails here, in fact. Okay, so yeah, let's um, let's get some storage bins cooking up in here, uh, the wooden storage, because these have you know the larger uh, inventory in them. And do you guys know how there's? We're supposed to be able to do like a version of this where we can write on it. And I guess I don't know exactly how to do that. Do we just make these and then we can write directly on? I'm not sure. Maybe we need a paintbrush. Anyway, let me know in the comments how that works because I've never actually uh, done that. We one of the guys I play with on the uh, on the multiplayer server set one of those up, and I never really asked him how, exactly how he did it. So I was going to, but I just forgot to. So anyway, uh, let's just make ten of those. And uh, so we got the glue kind of co co cooking up. We got the uh storage bins coming up let's uh as you can see i've got a bunch of stuff in my inventory that i just want to sell so let's do that first um uh, because you know we can we can do our questing and stuff at night time when it's safer <laughs> um anyway uh it <laughs> dudes when you play on always run insane it, daytime nighttime it really doesn't make that much difference it makes a little bit of difference because more ferals come out at night but i mean you know you just got a deal right you just got a deal uh so I don't think this trader has anything we want to buy, but let's just take our coin with us anyways. And we're just going to sell as much stuff we, as we can to this trader. Then we'll probably go to Trader Joel drop your weapons or drop and your uh, sell, uh, just about press the F key, uh, sell to him, and then, then we'll get started on our quest. So let's see, take a look at your inventory, and let's sell away. Okay, um, so yeah, he doesn't want that either. So we're up to ten thousand well, and five hundred cash, something. guys. That's really awesome. Did we already look at this on this day? I think we did. Yeah, because I don't see anything else in there. Uh, the other thing I was going to tell you is we got three points to spend. We just got another point uh, there. Just trying to think. Do I want to haul? 
all this stuff over yeah we do have a quest that way we're in fact let's take a look and see where both of our quests are just so we can kind of try and be efficient with our our traveling here so this one is yeah over by trader uh joel who's, who's right here you know i should probably actually mark that like with a real Uh, bookmark there. Okay, and then the other quest is this one. Oh, shoot, they're right next to each other. Well, doggone it, okay, that's that works out great. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the west. We'll stop off at Trader Joel's, sell as many of these blunderbusses as he'll buy, and then we'll go knock out both of those quests. Let's see if we can get both of them done in this episode. Okay, Trader Joel, got some stuff to sell you, pal. Um, <clears throat> you know what? I should have taken his sugar butts before we sold all that other stuff. Does he have uh, any blunders right now? Whoops. Does not look like it. At least not there. Okay, so he should buy three of these. That means we're going to get about 1,200 and... Or about 1,300 coin. And if we take sugar butts, we'll get another 10%. Eh, I don't know. Let, let's, let's just hold on to our sugar butts until we have better sales opportunities. Um, and we'll sell that. Okay. Oh, yeah. I forgot about the sledge. <laughs> anyway, we're almost up to 12,000 coin, guys. That's not bad. That is not bad. Much obliged, stranger. Much obliged, too. Did we already look at your inventory? I think we did. Remember, it's been a couple days for me. Yeah, I remember he had the, the green pistols and the motorcycle and all of that. Right, okay, and we did look for a beaker from you, didn't we? I believe we did. I believe that we did. Okay. So, let's uh, take a look at our points. Oh, we did not buy food from him, unless we weren't here on this day. That's a nice little pile of food and candy there. Goodness, okay, that's great. Okay, so before we go back out into the dangerous territory, let's take a look at our points. Uh, so we're going to go here and here, and we got three points to spin. My word. Okay, what are we going to do with those three points? I've been kind of focusing on strength because I want to get my mining skills maxed out. One of the things about Alpha 19 is I have not, since Alpha 19 Experimental was released several months ago, I have not a single time, guys, found an auger. Not from a trader selling one or found it in loot. Um, so what that means to me is that I can't count on getting one. And if we do get one, um, you know, joy, right? But I can't count on getting one, which means we need to get these maxed out. And we probably need to put a, another point or two into sexy T and just plan on manual mining, if you know what I mean. Uh, so I think we'll probably just continue to pump strength. The, the other advantage that's going to give us is it's going to be able to get us, um, you know, higher up in shotgun skill, uh, which is always going to be useful. And um, if we chose to do so, we could put some points into Skull Crusher at some point too. Though, you know, I'm not, if you guys didn't already figure this out, I'm not a big melee guy in this game. I have nothing against melee. I just enjoy the guns more. So, you know, I don't put a whole lot of effort into into the melee skills in the game uh, that's just my own personal preference if you do more power to you okay so yeah that being said let's go ahead and this uh is going to require strength level five and we currently have effective strength level three so we're going to put two points into that so we don't have an effective level five um and we could go right to shotgun pro if we wanted to hmm, that's kind of that's kind of, you know, I think that's going to serve us best right now because we're still questing. Um, and then I'll, I'll throw some points into these in just a little while. So let's do that. Shotgun Pro. Nice. So we can craft quality four uh, good shotguns, but only I think we can only do double barrels until we find the schematic. Yeah, so we could do green double barrels, but we need 10 shotgun parts. I don't have 10 shotgun parts. I've got four, five maybe? And this would probably give us three or four if we took it apart. Um, we can't do pump, right? Pump shotgun. Yeah, that's locked. So we got to find a, the book for that. Okay, cool. So we have our points spent. And now let's go ahead and 
do our two quests. So we'll do this one that's 370 some odd meters away first. Okay. Have I done this house before? It does not look familiar. That's not to say we haven't, though, but it doesn't look familiar to me. All right, well, let's uh, see if we can figure out where the fat loots are so we can do a double loot. I guess, where does it want us to enter? Through here? Ooh, there's like a cutaway in the floor. Um, do we have everything loaded? Let's double check that. Yes, we do. Okay. Oh, shit! Uh, not good. Not good, not good, not good. That other one derped out and decided to go for the door instead of the opening. That's fine with me. Let's help him in his derpiness to make sure he stays at that door. Okay. Um, he wants to reload this guy. Yeah, we need to get into that, that chem bench going so we can start making ammunition in bulk here. Come on, Fido. Open the door. There we go. Yeah, I do not recognize this place. Not at all. Got uh, some ra radiators there. Oh, shit! Military guy! That's scary. Cheerleader? Oh! <laughs> too much is happening too fast. My old brain can't keep up with it. We got this. We got this. Um, I'm not going to loot everything, of course, but I can't pass up food, and I cannot pass up radiators. It's just the way it is. So here, let's put that there. Nice. Looks like we got company. Oh shit, Arlene, she went right underneath me. I have to shoot her in the ass. Okay. All right, let's, uh, let, what kind of clothing are we wearing? Are we still needing better clothing? I mean, I like the college jacket. We got a BDU top, BDU bottoms. Yeah, we're, we're in pretty damn good shape for clothing, but... I still would like to find some nerdies, so we should probably check uh, for those if no other reason, right? Uh, we're not going to keep that. Okay, the light wants us to go through the hole in the wall, but hey, look, we got more brass here. I think we already... Uh, there we go. I think we already got the Zekers from here. Uh, their attention. Man, look at the brass in here. Can't pass it up, guys. Can't pass it up. We got landmines.
Okay. Toilet pistol? No toilet pistol. My daughter, who plays uh, on my multiplayer server, uh, found a toilet pistol last night when we were out looting. That doesn't happen very often anymore in this game. Let's get him nice and lined up right here. Okay, is he going to come back this way? This guy is so tough. <laughs> He's still not dead. There we go. Got somebody's attention over there. Let's reload. Yeah, this is definitely a new POI for me. Got ourselves a bookshelf here. Uh, yeah, we already know that, so we shall sell it. Anything in here? Oh, yeah, ammo pile. We'll take that. Uh, I also, on the multiplayer server, found the Desert Vulture schematic uh, 2, which is awesome because I love the Desert Vulture. We had a lot of, a lot of fun with it at, uh, towards the end of our experimental series. Okay, so we got that. Guess we're supposed to go out this way, eh? Yeah, it looks that way. What what are you doing, yo? And Big Mama too. Jump up. You're not dead yet, Big Mama? Good gravy. There, now you are. She is tough, man. She is tough. Okay. Let's go through here. Nobody in that closet. I will take that. And yeah, I guess we can take a flashlight. Can you sell it? Both of those things are good stuff. Let's scrap a doodle that. And we'll take this. We do need to eat, so let's clear up a couple of spots in our inventory. We're finding a lot of food, which is great. Oh, okay. We need a drink too. I want to save the coffee for mining, so. We're not going to de do that. And yeah, we'll scrap this. Okay, let's get reloaded here. Take that. Toilet pistol. I don't know why I ask the game every time for a toilet pistol, because it's just never going to happen. Well, that's not true. It might. You never know. It might. Hola. Hmm. Okay, so... Oh, I see. Okay, we got to go up this way. What? Oh, for Pete's sake. Learn how to shoot, man. You're not dead yet? Now you are. That'll teach you. We got a kitchen upstairs. Is this like a uh, like a, a rented out room kind of idea? We're not gonna have any room for the fat loots once we do find them. Okay, we're not going that way. Ah, look, I almost. Uh, Missed the radiator. Let's go ahead and repair this now because you know we're going to need to. We should probably... Oh, shit. We're... We're hurt. Good gravy. Okay, so... What, what's the matter with this? We got a broken thingamadoodle? All right, so let's use that. You can't use that at this time. Why not? What's... Okay, let's just look. A sprained arm. Oh, uh, this will take some time to heal. Range of, do, do. Further critical hits may result in a broken arm. So I can't put a splint on it to fix it, though? What? 
that? All right. What evs, man? What evs? Reload. That's the trouble with the double barrel shotguns, man. You always got to reload the damn things. This um tack rifles a uh, really kind of saving our hide, isn't it? Oh, fat loots. Wow, there's a lot of fat loots in here. Goodness. Okay. Um well, Let's just see what's in here, and then I'll probably have to make a couple of trips, which I, of course, will do off camera. So what do we got in here? Uh, worthless baton parts. I don't like the stun baton. I've never really cared for it, and I've tried it a couple of different times. It's just not my shtick. If you like it, I'm happy for you. I think it sucks. Uh, ooh, very nice. Um, you know, I think I'm going to eat this by virtue of the fact that it's going to give us a serious amount of health. Well, maybe not a serious amount of health, but a decent amount of health. So let's do that. We'll open both of these boxes and take a look-see inside. Do we need to drink still? No. Okay, we'll save that for later. What's in here? Um, potential upgrade for our sledge. That does 35 melee and 74 power. This does more. Um, okay, well, then that means we're going to sell that sucker and make some make some bank. We already looked in there. Okay, medical. How about some antibiotics? Because we are infected. We'll take that. And then let's look in the fat loots. Eh. Nothing to write home to mother about. I want to grab these and put them uh, in here, or at least take them with us so we don't lose them. Okay, guys, so I'm going to come back up here off camera and grab the rest of the stuff and go get it all situated in the motorcycle, and then we will actually start the quest for real. Uh, now I am now familiar with this POI and know that the fat boots are upstairs. So I will see you down at the yellow exclamation mark where we will start the quest and do it for real. That's a long drop. I don't think I'm going to do that. Okay, guys, I broke into the garage before we started the quest, and we have um, a shotgun messiah here, and there might be something up there, too. So let's uh, nerd pull up here. Take a look-see. No, nothing there. Let's see what's inside of here. Pump shotgun, please. No, but we got shotgun parts. Got some shotgun parts, so not bad at all. Let's do this. This is a fetch and clear. And we have we do want to keep in mind that we are still infected. Are there any stumps around here? Well, it doesn't matter now. I started the quest, so I can't I can't leave. So we might as well pop back in here again and see if that shotgun messiah crate is still in here. Or maybe a different one. We'll hit it from here. Okay. Um let's just see if there isn't maybe something up here this time. Man, we can't really tell that way, can we? Oh, there we go. Okay, nope. Nothing up there. Okay, we'll check the trash for sewing kits and duct tape and all the good stuff that you can sometimes find in trash. And there's not a damn thing in either one of them. How about that? All right, guys, let's do this. Um, We had puppies the first time, so... Probably reasonable to assume we're going to get puppies the next time, too. So let's kind of see if we can prepare for them. Okay, my character's not cooperating. Okay, so we'll go through here. Yep, puppies. Come here, Fido. Over here. Why do you... <laughs> you go to that door all the time. All right, you know what? We're not putting up with this shit. We don't have time. 
We don't have time for this, man. Okay, what's in here? Nada. Not a thing. Some agua. Nothing in there. Okay, we got rushed coming through here too, didn't we? Yeah, our satchel's on this floor. Ouch! That's gotta hurt. Okay, so we took her out in relative quietness. Anybody else in here? Search the cardboard box. Got some more crossbow bolts. What do we got in the clothing? Ooh, a puffer coat. You know what? I don't think we have a puffer coat. Uh, yeah, we're going to definitely hang on to that in case we ever do any snow biome adventures. Which, you don't really need to go to the snow biome for resources. I mean, you can get, you know, snow for water and stuff, but... It used to be you would go there for, like, coal and even nitrate, I think. But anymore, you can find all of the ores in all of the biomes. Just another one of their simplifications of the game that I don't like because, whoa, shit! It, in my opinion, dumps the game down too much. So there you have it. Alright, off with your heads. We've got a bookshelf here with paper. I didn't want to pick that up necessarily. Okay. You could probably sell those football helmets. Anything there? Oh, there's the satchel. Nice. Okay, we got that done. We checked that already. Yeah, okay. Let's get the brass. Making sure we're fully loaded. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Takes care of our infection. Well, it's not gone yet, but it, it will be now. That was a, a nice find, one that we needed for sure. Let's get rid of that. And yeah, we'll take some more water. And more brass. I'm just going to scrap that to save the space. Nah, we're not taking those. I suppose we could scrap them though. Huh? Yeah, let's do that. These are super easy to make in the forge when we need them, so. Okay, let's be a little cautious coming up here. And you know what else we should probably do is let's let's pop one of these. Probably don't need to be super conservative with our bandages since we have plenty, but we will anyway. Well, let's scrap this too, by the way. Okay, so, you don't have to worry about anything coming from that direction. Oh, right, I remember this now. Can we put, I can't remember if there's a door there or not. I think there is, right? Spider? Crap. I don't like spiders. Um, and spiders don't like tack rifles. Neither do Nurse Nancy's. What? What 
the hell was that? Something just went thumpity thump. Let the bodies hit the floor, right? Okay, um, let's get this, uh, uh, radiator and see what's in here. Okay, more food. Well, the game is certainly being generous with food. Gotta, gotta admit that, right? And I'm okay with that. Okay, we'll take that stuff. Oh, didn't we get rushed by, like, a military guy the last time we came through here? Yikes. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to just rush in here and say, screw it. Oh, Edgar! Jeez, Edgar. Man. <laughs> he came, like, barreling out of there. Ooh, what do we got? Adds a chance to harvest acid from cars, medical equipment, and acid barrels. Okay. That's... Not, not useful, but I can't say that it's extremely useful either. It's more useful in the very early game, but, you know, we already have, ooh, we already have 11 bottles of acid. Which, by the time we make our Kim bench and our four-wheel drive, I mean, we probably don't need any more. Unless we wanted to make a second Kim bench, which we might at some point. We'll have to see. And here I thought we were going to get through both of these POIs in one episode. Yeah, right. Oh, okay. We'll take that stuff. Let's get our our brass here. Okay, I think we're done in here, right? So we need to go outside. Okay, we had a big mama and somebody else the last time we came through here. Ronnie McDonnie! Okay. Nope. Don't want that. We can get that later when the time comes. Uh, something... Oh, yeah, I was gonna say, I'll bet something's coming through here. Arlene! Oh, for goodness sakes! How in the hell can you miss with a shotgun at that close of range? I can. I certainly can. Not proud of it. But, it's the God's honest truth. Alright. I guess we don't need to do that. Let's check this. Oh, more honey. Good. In case we get infected again. Could happen. Okay, we'll take both of those. Did we check this? Yeah, we did. All right, getting close, guys. Getting close. We got some uh, meds here. Oh, we don't have room. Doggone it. We're out of room again. Okay, so let's... Get rid of that. Let's get rid of these. Uh, we could stand to eat, so let's eat this. I'd like to hang on to the salmon in case we find the fish tacos recipe. And we'll scrap this. And uh, I think I'm going to chuck this plastic because we've got plenty of plastic and it's very easy to get. Some of you guys were making fun of me because I was I needed to do more inventory management and I had like one coin or one dollar bill in my inventory. The thing is, is my brain automatically doesn't consider money as something to throw away, even if there's just one. And if it's something, you know, that I stopped to think about for a second and that one coin is the least valuable thing in my inventory, I would throw it out. But it's just it's a subconscious thing is what it is. That's what it is. It's a subconscious thing. So there. I rest my case. Also, in my defense and every other YouTuber's defense out there, you guys, you guys see stuff that we just sometimes don't see. That's all there is to it. That's all there is to it. Sometimes you just, no matter what you do, you're not going to always catch everything. So keep that in mind. And oh, shit.
Whoops. That went rather well. Well, no, let me rephrase that. That didn't go terribly. <laughs> I wouldn't say it went rather well. Uh, yeah, we're still alive. That's an important thing. And you know what? We are going to take a bandage now because we got thumped there pretty good. Big old mama's thumping on us. I think big mama likes me for dinner. Okay, let's check the... Ooh, well, we already know that. We got a pain pill back. That's always good. Um, that's probably actually worth selling, believe it or not. That's probably actually worth selling. We'll scrap these. We'll leave the jars, of course. That we're not going to pass up, and we already have some electrical parts. What? Oh, I'm in the ceiling fan. Uh, nope, don't need any of that, and we will definitely take those, because we're shooting them up. We're going through them like hotcakes. That's what my, my mom would say. Like hotcakes. Okay, I think we have made it, ladies and gentlemen, to the Fat Loot's room. Yay, us. Let's see what we got. And just like before, I'm going to have to come back and get this stuff off camera. But let's just look at it so you can see what it is, and then we're going to have to wrap up this episode. Let's start with working stiffs. Another sled, some mortar tool parts, and a wire tool. Okay, stuff doesn't suck. Um, okay. That stuff kind of sucks. <laughs> what do we got here? Uh, more motor tool parts. Okay. If we actually ever came across the schematic to make the frickin' auger, that would be nice. More motor tool parts. Goodness gracious, game. You, you, here's what's going to happen. The game's going to give me 500 motor tool parts, and I'm never going to find the frickin' auger schematic for this whole entire playthrough. That's what's going to happen. You watch. You just watch. Um, we got the actual mod for the shovel thingamadoodle. Nice. And the fat loots. Ooh, that's useful. That's useful. And look at the bank here, too. Okay, that's not a bad haul. I can't complain about that, you guys. I mean, I could, but, you know. All right, I'm going to put a couple things in here so we can pick these up before that despawns. And same thing there. And I'll just, well, I might as well just keep that with me. All right, guys, that is it for this episode. I'm going to, of course, come back up and grab this stuff. And then, um, you know, we'll probably just start the very next episode right at that next POI and continue on where we left off. I would actually like that. I guess we have to keep it in there for now. So have a good one, guys. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Look what I found. I was just going to cut through the wall to get directly to my bike and there's a secret room in here with a secret stash crate oh nice okay so flashlight weapon flashlight mod schematic and the spotlight schematic very cool okay so we'll have to try and remember that for the next time there's no way i would have known there was a secret in there had i not decided you know what i'm going to cut through the house so i can get directly to the bike I'm glad i did there you go bye